Howdy everybody. Hey, it's Brian, Indiana Creek Gold. We're down over the hill for dredge run number five. Uh, we're going to push toward this bank this time. Last time I ran uh, over on the other side of where the pump is, eight feet or so. Uh, sort of pretty much the middle of the creek, deepest part, and we pushed this way. Did not do that good. All the bedrock that I cleaned off, and I cleaned off a big area of bedrock, there was smallmouth bass chasing minnows. I think we caught that on a video. But uh, it was all smooth. No cracks, divots, bumps, nothing. Uh, so I just picked up surface gold, uh, basically. So there's 18 inches or so of material uh, that I moved off. And we got a little bit of gold. You know, I'm not complaining. We did get some gold. But uh, I have found some nice chunks of gold. I mean, I, we definitely call them Indiana Nuggets. Uh, but hell, I've got that one piece I found down here that's .18 that the almond led me to. So, uh, yeah. But uh, me and Richard got into some nice flakes. The day, I say when we ran, basically there were the nozzle at and back of three feet, four five i don't know we just sort of a narrow slot there we worked off just the edge of the material this the stuff is 18 to i would think two foot deep or maybe less it's about two-thirds of my knee out in the deepest part of material runs all the way up there and uh turns into big rocks and cobbles. So we're just picking up leftovers down here, stuff that's been washed down over the years. Uh, but I know there's some chunkers down here in cracks because I found one just downstream there a year or two ago and I found a couple other nice pieces down here. So uh, this is a sort of a sweeping inside corner all down through here. So we're gonna start pushing over toward this bank. Uh, I'm going to work up in here. I want don't want this cut down here because this is where we walk down. I'm going to go kayaking, fishing. All right, there's nice smallmouth in here and everything. So I don't want this to be a, another 18 inches down, 12 inches down. So we're sort of going to leave this stuff here and start swinging upstream. Uh, the plan was, if Ron would have came down today, uh, was go on up there... Uh, in that bigger stuff and punch a hole down to bedrock and uh, look for some bigger gold but I am not moving this stuff upstream by myself today uh, went to three doors co down concert last night I didn't get in bed till two you know it was up at eight so uh, since we're running solo today we're just gonna work right here where we're at so it's I mean, I can pick that whole box up by myself and move it. It's a little awkward, it's a little heavy. But it's not horrible. You know, you don't want to carry it all the way up there, for sure. But it rolls great on them wheels. Uh, Craig, when he uh, hooked us up with the dredge, had made some wheels. One of them snapped off, and uh, Richard redone it all, put some steel on there, and did some welding, and it has held up great. But picking that thing up... Holding it up, loosening the three nuts, picking it up high enough to where that awesome leg that Craig figured out how to make out of crutches falls up out of there. And then you got to do the same on the other side. You know, or loosen, what I figured out to do is loosen both of them and then, you know, pick it up and they fall out sometimes. Uh, but if you loosen them and let the weight push down on there, yeah, they get stuck, stuck. So it's just not easy with one person, not really easy. It's almost easier, it would be easier maybe to just pile up rocks and set the wheels up on it. But, uh, yeah. But I mean, other than that, once you get it up and down off them legs and then putting it on the legs is not fun to do either by yourself at all. Uh, 
but once those are off there, that thing is mobile. So, awesome. Love it. Craig hooked us up fat on this thing. So, uh, let's go out here and we'll take a look. I did have some stickers in my backpack from Cottonwood. And I went ahead and put them on there, the ones I had with me uh, today. The old torrential water pouring out of there is Mike's stickers coming off and my sticker, which I'm going to order more of my old design too. I've got the new ones coming in, uh, but I like the old ones too. But I put Grease Monkey's sticker on there. PA Patriot. Cost, I can watch it and bust my ass. And uh, I figured, you know, I'm down here videoing, looking at the mat. We need to get some stickers up here too. So, uh, put old Candy Veterans, Heath, and uh, Cottonwood Trails Gold Camp got front and center right there. And then Lewis's sticker there. Uh, I think I put Brian's on maybe down there, or maybe I, I think Richard maybe gave me that sticker. I think I've got more of his stickers. But, uh, yeah, uh, I've got a few more. I know I've got JP sticker up there somewhere that I need to get on here. And, uh, yeah. But, like I said, uh, see over in here, I don't know how good you can see. But see that sticks up, that raises up an inch, inch and a half, that piece of bedrock there from what's around it. So over here, I just walked down here and was digging, just rubbing around with my hand, you know, on the bedrock. And over in here, there's a bunch of dips, divots, uh, stuff like that. Me and Richard got into a good hole or two and uh, found a crack. While we was over here that we cleaned out. So I'm thinking over at this edge. Uh, I like I expect this deep of material to be all the way over here to the bank. So, uh, I mean, for long we're going to be losing water in here and we're not going to be able to run. That's why uh, it's down here. Uh, so, the water gets really low here. And it's working on it now. And also, another thing I did here... was uh, I, I got to respond to everybody's comments on my last dredging video. I read everything while I was sitting somewhere and uh, didn't respond, but I will do so. But uh, old Creed, old Nine Fingers Mining, said something about welding the bar in front of there, and that would be a great idea, actually. Uh, but for the time being, I've got a bunch of those flags that they left in my yard when they put the internet in. And I use them for metal detect, and I turned raw and F onto the idea, too, when we're doing it. You know, you go out and just mark signals and stick a flag there, and then you come back to them and dig. But I had uh, one of those in there that I used to clean out the impeller on the pump, which hasn't been an issue since I redid the screen on it and kept that bucket on there. But I've got that wire sort of wrapped in there and uh, we're going to see if that helps me from getting clogged up all the time being down here by myself so I'm hoping 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 that it does so uh, you know that's where we're at so we got the sled sitting out there it's sitting on some rocks uh, anchored off to a big rock up there with our pump so uh, hell we have a Almost floating dredge today. So, uh, let's get running. All right.
there is a lot more rocks to do. Put that wire on there. And just like that, we're down to bedrock. And look you there. Big crabs all around right through here. I started right at the edge of where we had quit working. Uh, we was here. Yeah, this uh, bedrock here has a lot more character already than what stuff in the middle did. been about an hour and a half but my back is freaking killing me sitting on the bucket did help uh, let me show you what we got into here 
uh, this every bit of this I've cleaned off has character uh, there's cracks right there that I cleaned out good uh, there's all kind of those fossils it's like a deathbed type deal covered some of them up but around all, all them fossils on there and pieces of quartz whatever they are there was material all packed around them and over here you can, right there you can see where that crack goes down it opened up to a really good hole right there and the hole is going on back in there right right there so compared to the bedrock right here that's probably back in there three inches lower or so so uh got that cleaned out good i said picked around a bunch of those uh that quartzy stuff uh i said there's all kinds of stuff stuck around there most of the stuff you see now is stuff that's fell down but yeah my back just can't handle it anymore and there's another little right here was this another lip right there there's a bunch of material packed in there big piece right there that actually broke out so all this like I said has really good character like I said and that's a good hole right there I'm working to it goes it's going back that way uh, I just can't handle it anymore so uh standing last night at that concert and uh yeah my hips and my lower back are just killing me so uh i'm gonna get this stuff uh drag up on the bank and uh probably actually text cole chip sends up there and have him come down here maybe uh i want to move some stuff but can't do that alone but i don't know anyway uh i'm gonna get this stuff picked up we'll be back for a little bit of a clean out not gonna be much of one we'll just use one of the big pans and do a wash back see if there's any gold in there all right so we ended up with way more material than what we should have i'll show you why when i cleaned up last time i raised the legs up down there at the end to get the tub underneath it and uh, yeah I didn't lower it down so that thing's basically flat see who uh, I just threw some water in there and uh, we're gonna dump it out let me pause this and dump this out in the garret all right we got a big old pan full of material here uh, let me get this pan down and uh, there's a bunch of material there I can't one hand that so uh, jump down there we'll pan this down off into the tub and then we can add to our bucket of cons and my plan is get this bucket half full or so and uh, then just set the prototype extended version rpe up somewhere down here and uh run the material nice and slow and then do a real clean up i need to send uh i think it's rich peterson a bag of cons so uh we'll scoop his bag out of there before we ever go through it but i just all five runs that we've had down here the cons have went in there so let me pause this uh we'll pan this stuff down and see if there's any gold at the bottom all right, I wanted to jump on here. This is like so much better material. Look at that, how dark that is. Uh, that last run I had out in the middle, there was nowhere near as this amount of uh, heavies. Uh, 
I just wanted to show you all that before I worked the pan down. All right, we got our first piece of gold showing up right there. It's always a good sign, right? At least we know we didn't get skunk. He's right there. I ain't got too much water in my pan. Another piece of showing up right there. Wow! Look at that. That is the biggest garnet I think I've ever found down here. Look at that. That baby is pretty too. Look at that. Score. Put that one in my pocket. Scraped a piece of iron down. A piece of gold trying to work its way down here. It might have been that piece we seen a little bit of. Showing up. Hey, we were into the gold, that hole. See, on this bedrock that we worked had character. That stuff that we worked the other day, the bedrock, like I said, was smooth, totally smooth. Let me pause this and uh, two hand this. All right, there's a bona fide Indiana nugget in there. Look at that baby. Oh, look, even made sound. Hear that? Uh oh, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Ha ha. Uh, the quality of gold is definitely better uh, over there in them cracks than. Uh, around all that stuff I, mean, I only ran an hour and a half so uh, I mean, you can see there's all kind of uh, small gold in there too but yeah there's a little almost wire looking piece there that one has some character even sort of like the bigger pieces we find up the road so, not a lot of gold, but I didn't run for a whole long time either. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, need to work over this way along the bank because the gold is getting bigger. There's Indiana Chunker in the pan. Take that. Thanks for following along, y'all. See you next time.